Well, Scott, back after the international break, it didn't feel like all the cogs were quite working particularly in the first half, but you got the goals and got the win. Were you satisfied enough with the performance? I don't think we played our best football um, today. I felt like um, we scored early and did, did that part and then sort of switched off a little bit, to be honest, Callum. I think that the, the, the passing, um, our passing game wasn't, wasn't there today and um, I felt like despite the fact we created a lot of opportunities again, couldn't get on the end of them and couldn't then really kill the game off early enough. Um, but you know, Sterling work really hard and get behind the ball, and um, they had a couple of um, opportunities themselves to, to to break. But I felt, you know, overall we we controlled the game and and we you know we felt comfortable in the game. But uh, until you get that third goal, it, it um, it's never you know wholly comfortable. Yeah, Sterling it was a bit closer in terms of the scoreline compared to other games we've seen against the two. Did Sterling play any differently to what you expected to make it a bit tighter? No, I, I don't think so. I just I just felt that uh, you know we we created chances we didn't we didn't take them, and um, I felt that just overall we're a little bit sluggish today, and you know I, th I think that if we if we had been sharper and uh, had managed to maybe score earlier, then the game would have been put to bed a lot quicker and um, maybe we'd have scored more goals. One of the highlights, one of the goals coming for Hayley Lauder. She's been out for a little while. How good is that to have her back, particularly with Champions League and big games coming up? Yeah, it's always always good to have you know quality players um, fit and, and able to play, and she's one of those. So, yeah, we're delighted to have her back, and uh, that's 45 minutes for her. So... That's the first big step. Um, hopefully we can then increase that um, over the next week or two and get her right back to, to full fitness. There's been an extra buzz around with the Scotland players coming back with all the heroics. Yeah, I mean, I think it's 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 fantastic that uh, that Scotland have, have qualified, and it's great for the the girls got a, you know something to look forward to, um, you know, in the long term, and it's, it'll be a, a a great experience for them. But um, yeah, sometimes it can be quite difficult to to get them to to refocus on um, on on club football. But you know yourself, we've um, got big games coming up, so it's really important that they do that. Yeah, and when there was big games midweek back in the Champions League mode, not quite the same travel as last year, but still a bit of a travel tomorrow. Looking forward to it? Yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be a tough a tough trip, we know that. But uh, the girls know that um, they'll need to be at their, their best and you know recuperate from today and you know do all the right things and, and arrive at the game prepared. Okay, well, we'll see you there. Thanks so much. Thanks, Callum. Cheers.